Guys, it is time for episode 9, I believe. The very last episode of my Oblivion playthrough, where I just try to beat the game, and any shenanigans we get into all along the way is exactly what I show you today. But my friends, everything must come to an end. And uh, yeah, I don't know how this series is going to go, but I thought, hey, might as well uh, just finish the last episode the day before I release the first episode. That way I can stay true to my word, my friends, and complete the series regardless of performance. 18 hours and 10 minutes in, and we are going to be going all the way to the very end. Let's make it happen. Okay, so we are in game guys. In the last video, I finally got the Archmage title. And as a result of that, we completed the Mages Guild. You can see my factions right here, Arena Grand Champion, Knight Brother of the Blades, which is basically free, but also Archmage of the Mages Guild. I became quite powerful in the last video, buying and acquiring the Apotheosis Staff. I also got the Staff of Worms, which we could attempt to try for a free reanimate. I don't know how that's gonna end up working, but it sure has a lot of uses on it. And truly, with the end of that video, we really did cement ourselves as more of a caster, uh, getting 70 intelligence, 76 willpower, and then starting to go hard into personality. And with that, we are now in Imperial City and we need to progress with the main story. Last time we were doing the main story, we actually went ahead and did the Mage's Guild specifically to become more powerful so that we could complete the story without fear of dying or having to do something like lower the difficulty. The very last quest I got was this one right here, Miss Karkind. Martin has deciphered the third item needed for the ritual, a rare alien artifact known as the Great Welkin Stone. He knows of only one place that might still contain one, the alien ruins of Miss Karkind. And because it's an alien ruin and because it could be difficult, I wanted to become powerful and I think I did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel to the Cursed Mine, which we did like two episodes ago, and we're just gonna keep running west until we get to Miss Karkind and hopefully destroy it with very little effort. However, before we do that, let's go ahead and make some money in the Market District, sell some old stuff, re-enchant our staves, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, we are at the Copious Coin Purse. By the way, guys, in the very last episode, I just now realized that if I press N, I walk like normal and I have to shift to run. But if I press it again, I run like normal and I shift to walk. I think like five episodes ago, I said, oh, I wonder how this changed. I guess I misclicked end. Okay, this dude knows exactly what I want from him at this point. I want to sell my garbage. So staff of fire, that can go. Can we haggle a little bit though? Let's see, 500 gold? That's just not reasonable. What a jerk, dude. 477. Okay, so let's see, let's see. So I got these two shirts in my last video. I can sell them and make another 1100 gold. That sounds pretty good to me. We're at 32.55. Now, I do have plenty of potions, guys. 19 strong potions of sorcery, 5 strong potions of healing. I don't need to buy any more. I'm really, really well off in that regard. So I think we're good with what we've got, and we can start enchanting everything with 3,200 gold. Okay, let's go ahead and charge our mage's staff of shock for 2,000 gold. Finish off the apotheosis for 600, because why not? I think we're ready now, guys. So let's go. Fast traveling to the cursed mine. And there's a wolf right here. Okay, I could probably take this thing soul. Okay, soul trap. Let's try. Let's try block block it block it block it nice soul trap nice electric touch dead instantly i have captured a soul very very nice it's the little things my friends now i can ride my horse all the way over to miss karkind and i definitely will what's the point of getting it if i don't use it right but okay guys we are on our way to miss karkind and uh, i really do think we're gonna dominate all of this we're gonna be the savior of everything and i'm really excited to actually complete this it's been an awesome journey and i really want to do so much more but ultimately i've got to make room for more wow videos to be real with you oh look at this beautiful bridge colored trees all over the place even though there's an oblivion gate in the sky which by the way i can't not wait to get rid of those. I do believe when you beat the game, they go away, but it's just going to be such a prettier world with it gone, right? All right, Miss Karkin and also a bandit camp. Let's actually beat the bandits. Hey, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, he is paralyzed. Electric touch, but wait, I don't want to hit my horse. Okay, he's dead. So what did this guy have? Mithril Curious. I don't have that much space, sadly, because I had to keep so much, so I'm not going to get rid of that. All right, there's another person over here for sure. I can hear him. Oh, there's a bear right here. Is it going for me? Yes, it is. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's actually kind of strong. I can still easily kill it. Nice, GG. Dummy ass bear. I thought there was another person. Maybe it died to the bear too. Now, because this is the very last video and we're at the very beginning of the video, let's go ahead and actually sleep and get this next level. And before we do that, let's just make sure we show this. I'll show it at the end of the video as well. 85 days passed, 21 active quests, 37 completed, 301 skill increases, 10 novice skills, 6 apprentice, 
five journeymen, currently no experts, sadly. 69 fame, totally meant to be, don't pretend like it's not. Apparently, I've also been in jail for at least two days, stolen 66 items, 39 assaults, bro, three murders, never stolen a horse, my largest bounty was apparently 280. That was probably the Leowin journey, right? I've killed 247 creatures, 181 people, found 45 places, broke 59 lockpicks, Trapped one single soul that you guys just saw. Ate 12 ingredients, made a couple potions, shut three oblivion gates, owned one house. You can invest in stores? Now that I did not remember. 69 books read? What? Nine skill books found, one artifact found. 156 hours slept, but 981 hours waited. Zero days as a vampire. 14 jokes told. Don't remember doing it. I guess I did it when I was uh, experimenting with speech crap. And four Nern roots found with one guaranteed disease contracted. As for my skills, this is what they are right now, with the best ones being Destruction, Conjuration, and now Illusion, really making big headway, actually, in the last few videos. Previously, it was one of my least leveled skills. And yeah, you know what? It was a rocky start, but we're level 16, about to be 17 on this bedroll right here. And I gotta be honest, I just had so much freaking fun. All right, personality once again, willpower, intelligence. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's not forget the invisibility that we got, and now we're pulling up on Miss Karkind. The alien ruin, guys. Now, I'm using my mage's shock staff right now, saving the apotheosis for a potentially big fight. I'll be honest, two goblins, this should be really easy. I'll be honest, though, I really have been thinking about playing Skyrim because I think Skyrim's a little bit harder. And I do welcome the challenge of, like, you know, killing, uh, let's say, those uh, Draugr Necro Lord things, whatever they are, but there's like a bunch of them. Dragon Lords or something. I can't even remember the name. Oh, wow, this was so easy. This is not on like a low difficulty and I messed up, right? Nope, this is exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm just super strong. But yeah, Skyrim actually appeals to me out of nowhere. Just because I'm also going through this story, so it's like a continuation. But if I could be totally honest, part of me wants to beat Morrowind, because I literally have never beat that game before. I've read stories on it, I know what the lore is about, but I haven't beat it. Anyway, this is the door to Miss Karkind. Two shit goblins outside. Let's go in. Okay, so I have to be honest. At the beginning of this playthrough, I was consistently scared. I have entered the ruins of Miss Karkind. Now I must find his great Welkin stone. Okay. But yes, I was consistently scared, and that was not fake. I was weak. I knew that I was fragile. I knew I could die. And I react appropriately to my circumstances. However, right now, as I've tried to say many times, I am extremely powerful. So I don't really have much fear outside of traps. Let's see if that's not ill placed. So we're seeing a mace on the ground and some blood more blood what the hell just a goblin oh i missed well that says a lot but i destroyed his ass okay a bunch of garbage they all have scales for some reason all right let's keep going you can see how powerful i am based on that alone all right i see one little shaman looking dude over there wait could that have been a zombie oh it was a zombie oh no i hate the zombies dude I did hit that one. Thank goodness I didn't miss. Now, I'm also seeing free loot over there, but I'm actually going to go through here and just, like, pick them all off. Oh, enchanted item doesn't have enough charges? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just used up my apotheosis. I thought I was using the mage's staff. No wonder I was so powerful. Well, guys, this is going to be interesting. Let's go. Yeah, you can see that's significantly less strong. Wow, here I am thinking I'm way better than I thought I was. It was a fluke. All right, here's a headless zombie. They're actually stupid. Do you see that? Like, because they're headless, they don't know what they're doing. I did kill them all, so that's fine, but I've got to be super careful. Let's try this uh, reanimating thing. Okay, it doesn't work on zombies. That does make some sense, though. Reanimate target for 30 seconds. It's not working. I wonder what it has to be used on to work. Maybe it's very possible that you use it first, then kill them, and they come back. So we can try that. All right, door right here with a zombie. Of course, very ominous. Let's go this way first. Another thing. It's a skelly this time. All right, major staff of shock. Oh, wait, it's a skelly that summoned a skelly? Look at that big sword that it has. What? What is that? Is that an elven greatsword or something? Elven claymore, yeah, wow. Really, it's a big reason to want to use a 2H weapon, uh, but unfortunately, we're not very proficient in it, so I actually do have to drop it. Okay, back to the Staff of Worms. It's one of the only staffs I've seen that actually have a different head on it. They did get pretty lazy with the design of the uh, aesthetic of the staff. All right, dead goblin died to zombies, I guess. Free Welkin stones for free money. Very weird ruin so far. Goblins and zombies. And also a door that I cannot open, so there must be a button this way. All right, can I animate you if I hit you with this first? I don't think that's how it works, based on this alone, unless... Like, Again, the zombie just can't be reanimated. It is already dead, but it's also literally animated itself. I didn't see a rule anywhere that said the same thing couldn't be brought back to life twice. It's not like it's alive when you uh, bring it back the second time or the first time. Okay, I did just realize I'm pretty low on HP, so we're going to go for a couple restoration spells. 
We see another gate that we can't open and no button. The only way I could possibly go right now is down. So I guess I have to jump. There's a goblin there. Oh, I one shot him even with this staff. Wow. Okay, let's jump over here. Free Welkin stones once again. We might be too over encumbered at some point to keep picking these up. All right, Skelly. Oh, wait, the Skellies are going for that. Look, the goblins are fighting the undead just like me. Unfortunately for the uh, Skellies, they are way stronger right now than the goblin. I'm going to go chill ren so I waste less on my charges. It's way less strong, but yeah, they're not really targeting me. So Also, I could just use my spells. Electric touch. Just keep going for that. All right, almost dead. Now you're dead. Go in. Oh, he actually blocked that last second. Very nice. All right, electric touch on him. Charge. Nice, blocked right in time. Very good. Electric touch. Oh, okay. Go in. Go in. Oh, missed again, but he did too. Uh-oh, he actually got me big with that one. Another electric touch. Charge. Another charge. Oh, he did a big one right there too. Okay, I think I can beat him without potting, but let's just go ahead and make sure. Okay, he's dead. Let's go ahead and wait one hour. That's why we've waited so much. Free HP. So you can see without apotheosis, it is currently still a challenge. Oh, God. Okay, there is a shaman there. Destruction skill just went up. I'm using Wizard's Fury, by the way. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Wizard's Fury is kind of low mana as well. It actually is seemingly better than my shock spells. I do like that. Dead. Nice. Okay, Wizard's Fury is definitely on the top of my list for use right now. Okay, let's keep going. Another Welkin stone. All right, there's one button and there's a chest. I'll take that. Scales. So many scales. Okay, pushing that. It is pushed and now we go up. Okay, and now we have one of these. I guess this leads me back to where I was, but I bet that other door now, whichever way that was, will be open too. So let's check our map. So the implication is that it's actually this way based on this alone, right? Okay, I am right. The door now is open. Let's keep on going. I see a goblin and they are also fighting the skellies in an all out war. Wow, they're all coming to me. I do like the extra AOE. I wish we could make another spell just like this. With a high destruction skill, maybe we could. Even the music is dying on me. It's like, bro, you're supposed to be done by now. I get it. I get it. I'm pretty gimped right now, though. It's reminding me of a strategy I had when I was a kid, which was quite literally the same strategy I would have used to beat the arena, which is that, and also chill rend, which is that you never ever do any quests that you care about at a high level, because then they become extremely highly scaled and very, very difficult to do for no reason. Now, I like the challenge right now, but when I was a kid, I was much more inclined to just do everything on easy mode, and I had absolutely no shame about it most of the time. Let's go ahead and rest once again. Oh, more weak healing potions. I'll take all the pots I can get at this point. Okay, so we see a button there, and we see something that can be raised, a door that might actually lead out. Let's see, the button was pressed, okay. It was that simple. So I can take the Varla stone, another Welkin stone. And now we actually have not just that door, but this one. I'm assuming I go this way. All right, let's open the gate. Oh, wow. That was actually a bit of a jump scare. Dread zombie. Oh, that's actually not taking damage. Do I go invisible? I could totally just dodge this. I mean, what's the point of fighting these stupid zombies? I talked about it in my Mana Marco video, but the zombies and wraiths, so hard to kill, they give you nothing of value. So actually, yes, I do think invisibility is very smart to be spamming right now. The goblins are easy. Okay, a hard chest. Can we complete it? It's been a few days. That's one and two and shit. I got it the second try. Every time I just go a little bit slow, I easily do it. 404 gold. That's crazy. I think that's the most I've ever got at one time. And I ran out of lock picks. Okay, not my lucky day. Not gonna lie, I went fast, got frustrated. That's fine, it's fine. Hopefully we don't need any more. And it won't actually impede our ability to keep going. Oh my god, look at all these guys on me. Holy crap. It's okay, I have invisibility. Don't panic, everybody. It's fine. All these guys can't get me. This actually does remind me of like a Draugr ruin from Skyrim right now. Okay, now we're in this big chamber below. All the goblins I just saw have been slain. It's actually kind of ominous. I can't actually get all of this stuff right now. I can take these uh, potions of sorcery though. I can get rid of like potion of night eye, complete garbage. All right, go back invisible. All right, that door is closed. So maybe, just maybe, the other way that I saw will have a way to open that door. So over there somewhere. Oh, here's a button right here. Okay, let's try this out. See if it opened the door on the other side. It sure did, dude. Okay, we're almost out of here. I can feel it, man. I can feel it. Chest? Nah. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is definitely the last room because the arrow is green. That implies that whatever I'm looking for is here right now. So many zombies and skellies, dude. Imagine fighting through this. Playing a mage is just so awesome, man. Okay, there is a chest right here and I can open it. Luckily, it's an average lock. 
So let's do that for old time's sake. 39 gold. Okay. Back to invisible. All right. Here we are approaching what I believe is the Great Welkin Stone. Am I right? Is it that easy? I have found the Great Welkin Stone. Now to bring it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Wow. Oh my God. Invisibility. It's fine. All those dudes running at me. Wait, what is this? King of Miskarkand? Oh, okay, I've never seen that, or at least I don't remember that. Let's save. So I wonder if he's beatable if I charge up Apotheosis. Okay, Apotheosis has a single charge. It's better than zero charges, right? Oh god, he did not take any damage right there. Oh my god, he lowered my Magicka so I couldn't immediately go invisible. That's actually terrifying. I have Dispel though, does that work? It did not. What the hell? Are you joking? Do I have to wait this buff out and everything's running at me? Oh lord, I do. Oh lord, I do. Okay, it's fine. Just dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh god, he almost one-shot me. I'm invisible. It's very possible the King of Miskarkand is not actually viable for me to beat. Especially because I'm an idiot and I wasted all my apotheosis charges on stupid stuff. First of all, we definitely go invisible so we get the first hit. And we try to wait out all the garbage. All was quiet as I continued to stay invisible, waiting slowly but surely and patiently for sure as well for all of the zombies to go away. Okay, maybe I can kill him faster than I think. All right, let's just try it. Paralyzed, he didn't oh. actually get paralyzed. <clears throat> oh, he just one shot me. Yo, he literally just bait. I think he one shot me. I did save actually like wall invisible. So, okay, I will try one more time. So weakness to Magicka. Wizard's Fury this time. Okay, he actually just made it to where I can't cast that. Okay, just got one shot again. Wow. He does have the key, but I bet I can uh, get out of here another way. That's very hard. I can backtrack my steps. It's really not a big deal. Oh my god, every single gate has a very hard lock. Ha! Wait a second. Uh, okay, this is just a treasure room, isn't it? <gasps> Wait, there's a way over there. Okay, uh, free stuff though. Weak potion of sorcery and healing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what is this though? Is this another way out without a very hard lock? Oh, it's still hard. But I ran out of all of my pick locks, dude. Okay, guys, so it turns out that I have to kill this guy to get the key to get out of here because I have no pick locks and I have no way to open a very hard lock. So I'm gonna kill him and only take the key and that way we don't benefit at all from the reduced difficulty because honestly, I'm sick of doing the reduced difficulty stuff. So as you can see, we're gonna do it real quick. Dead, right, die, die, he's dead, nice. Let's loot him. I'm not gonna take anything besides the key. Now let's uh, eventually go invisible and get the hell out of here, right? Okay, we are invisible. Let's go ahead and turn that difficulty back up and we did, let's go. Like I said, I had no choice but to take the key. I'm really, really worried about what I might be encountering later on. Nightshade, okay. 48 gold, strong potion of healing and sorcery, okay. Ebony shield, wow. That is my first ebony piece of gear. 13 armor in my current one, which is a pretty good one, I think, Valdemar. That's nine armor. It reflects damage, which is pretty good, but we could probably enchant the uh, ebony one ourselves. Honestly, the worst part is finding room for it, dude. I'm gonna have to drop a lot of random potions, dude. And also I think maybe even random food like this minotaur horn. Okay, ebony shield, dude, we're gonna enchant that and we are gonna have a field day with it. Oh my God ebony gear is beautiful can you imagine a full black and gold set yeah that's definitely awesome okay so we are out that's actually a really big deal it is auto saving right now let's go ahead and turn this quest in to where though oh yeah the place we haven't been in a really long time cloud ruler temple apparently there's enemies nearby it's this little shit right here dude once again let me make it clear like we are back to the right difficulty goblins really do just suck all right another bear wizard's fury this boy he's a biggin paralyzed Back to that, into the staff shot. Look at him, he's all spazzy. Last one, I think, here, boom. All right, he died. See, I'm out of charges. It's not good, dude. It takes so many shots to kill something right now. So if I could be totally real with you guys, I actually do wonder, if I were to cast something super weak like Flare that simultaneously costs almost no mana and probably would take years to kill this bear, would it actually power level by destruction as fast as we did with Illusion, Mysticism, and a little bit of Conjuration? It might actually work. It would take a long time though. Flare might be better, but way slower. The thing about Flare is that currently I could spam it indefinitely 
because my mana regen will cover the cost. It was at this moment that I had a plan, right? I learned some better stuff later on, but for now I was dead set on spamming Flare or maybe the Snowball and then leveling up my destruction up to the expert level. So I thought, where can I get some easy mobs to fight? And that's when I thought about the arena where I became the grand champion like in episode two or three. So what I did is I ran all the way back. I talked to the lady there. She gives you the ability to fight monsters in the arena for gold. I said I wanted to fight two ogres and I would go back to my safe spot that we all know and love, right? And this is what happened. All right, guys, the plan worked. Right there, we got it. 75 destruction. I'm now an expert. Fire, frost, and lightning have flowed from my fingertips. Nice. Now, this is extremely impactful for us because this means I can create some spells now for destruction that I would not have been able to use before. Hopefully, they're super powerful. Plus, let's see if we get a good reward for killing two ogres. You even get to farm the ogre teeth and stuff. It's actually a really good little gig, you know? I also thought it would be pretty flavorful to go back to the arena at least one more time because it was one of the first things we did and we never came back to her when well she right met. here told us that Stop she had more stuff already. for us to do. Great oh, wow, Great 980 show. gold. What the hell? Yo, that's actually a really good money-making method. Wow. So I did just realize in my last video while editing it that we don't just have an altar of enchantment in our office now, but we have an altar of spell making as well. So I don't even have to leave the tower. I can just be a lord, right? Over the mage guild peasants that are below me. I think the crazy part about this is that actually if I go back down to 30, I should be able to throw two of these at the same time. It's damn near apotheosis damage and it's just reliant on my mana. Okay, let's do that. Doobies Fury is what we're going to call that one. Nice. Also, I think this is literally how you get bound everything on uh, one ability. So I finally figured that out. Okay, Varla Stone sold. Welkin Stones also sold. Gold Emerald Ring. I'm going to sell that. I'm finally going to get rid of the Helmet of Life Seeing as well. All right, there we go, guys. I enchanted everything. I'm almost out of money. It's all Doobies Hella set, right? So I get 10 Intelligence on my brand new boots, Gauntlets, Greaves, and we've got Doobies Hella Shield now. So we can equip that just for the uh, enchant bonus. That puts me at 100. 119 intelligence and 338 mana. So what that ultimately means is now I can do one and immediately do two of my range spell. That's a big deal. And for my touch spell, it's one. And then let's see, it's a lot less regen before we can get to a second one right there. So that was actually only like four seconds or something like that. Overall though, I think the best spell we have is now going to be a range spell. So yeah, I'm really hoping Doobie's Fury just straight up carries me. Free apotheosis, basically. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to Cloud Ruler Temple finally. And let's progress the main quest. Okay, now Martin is currently like wearing some crazy armor for? now. Did and I've got, got the great stone. stone, yes. I said I'd get it, man. Now here, take it. I never thought to see a great Welkin stone. We need only one more item. Oh, damn. And we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron. That's it, though. One more. What is the last item that we need? A great sigil stone. Is oh my goodness. So I already know what's going on. You open the gate because we let them. I run inside. I get the great sigil stone. I save the day. Is that it? I said you weren't going to like it. Okay, I'll go tell her it should all be okay. No big deal. Let's go to Bruma, guys. A big fight's about to happen. Martin himself is going to be fighting. Okay, Castle Bruma, let's go. Bird is talking to her and... Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? Okay, let me tell you all about the battle plan and stuff like that. Guys, I'm going to get through this fast. Okay, she is totally cool with it. All I have to do now is meet Martin at the Chapel of Talos when I am ready for battle, and I should inform the Countess. Okay, I guess we're going to the uh, Chapel of Talos. It is super cool that the Nord city of Bruma has the Chapel of Talos, but also super sad when you know in Skyrim, that's not going so well for them, you know? So before we go anywhere else, by the way, I can actually gain a level from all that destruction magic gains that I got. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take a bed. 25 gold is not horrible, I guess. All right, here we go. 80 willpower, 67 personality. And you know what? I'm going to go 57 endurance this time. We just got so much magicka. Let's just get a little bit more health. I think that's pretty smart right now. Listen, we do not need more allies. Let the battle begin. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now and yours. I have faith in myself. Do not worry. I also have Joffrey and I have Boris fighting by my side. Martin himself, the Bruma guard, and of course, Bur Bird. And I think we have like coral or something like that, which is better than nothing, as she said. Oh my god, look! The They're giving Emperor. us a little uh, cheer. We're about to save the day. Let's do this, boys. Huzzah for the Emperor! 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 Martin! 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 
Yeah, yeah buddy. All right, what about little doobie, little doobie, little doobie? I just, I'm not feeling the love, man. All right, here we go, guys. It's all about to begin. Martin even put his helmet on, dude. He is ready to fight. Oh, it is Coral, I believe. Two Coral soldiers waiting for us. I do appreciate the help. I do hope at least one of you lives, but this is where it truly gets real. This is the final battle, my friends. Here we go. We're running. Oh, we're running. All right. We're running to getting a whole brand new set of skills and abilities on this character so that we can actually complete this game without turning it on easy mode anymore. That's right, my friends. I knew I wasn't strong enough. So at this precise moment, before I ran all the way down to the final portal and got into that final fight for Bruma, I decided to ditch it entirely and just start power leveling all of my skills. So I'm going to try to put in the background like a bit of a montage of me doing it, but it's like six hours and I'll be able to show you guys the difference in my save files as well, just to show that I'm literally logged in doing this crap. Um, and so I just spammed my illusion, my destruction, and my alteration went up a little bit as well. I also got my blade skill up. There's like a place you can go, the pyrite shrine, the guys don't die, and you can literally just keep spamming left click. It probably took me an hour-ish maybe to get all the way up to expert blade, and that way we could go right back to being an actual battle mage, which I think is very fitting for the last episode because we do make up for our mistakes. We become something that we wanted to be, but we didn't perfectly pick to become it. Yet ultimately it doesn't matter because with enough grinding, you can be whatever the hell you want in Oblivion. And I do love that. Now during this journey, I gained so many levels that mobs start to have a lot better loot on them. So I end up finding a bunch of Daedric loot on all of these guys. I end up with like a full set of Daedric armor just about, which is pretty freaking crazy. And all sorts of different Daedric weaponry and stuff like that, that I continuously sell all along the way. I was pretty impressed by this because because we're over level 20 at this point, but ultimately I'm able to get mostly all expert spells with everything that's relevant, base 50 overall I believe. Now I also felt like I would need a brand new weapon, so I did also go for the gold brand Daedric Artifact. This is a sword with a bunch of fire damage on it, and I had to kill a bunch of champions for a Daedra Lord in order to earn it, and so most of the time I just completely cheesed it by jumping on rocks and shooting them from above. It really wasn't that hard to cheese, and I didn't really have to use that much skill to make it happen. After that I also went and bought the Frost Atronax spell, and then we headed back to fight for Bruma. Okay, guys, it is time to go help Martin. Let's make it happen. There it is, the great Bruma gate, or at least one of the gates in Bruma. And there's the army down there waiting for me. Let's make this happen, guys. I am ready. I've got my Frost Atronach in hand, and Martin and I have arrived in the battlefield. I must protect him until the great gate actually opens. Okay. Soldiers of Cyrodiil. Yes, give your speech. The Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma? What they did to Kavach? Will we let them burn our homes? We will let them kill our families? No! We make our stand here. We do. Today for the whole of Cyrodiil. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavach can destroy their great gate. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? Let's do it, guys! Oh, Oh god, this is gonna be something big. Alright, let's do it, guys. The fight has begun! Alright, so far, so good. Next round, next round. Let's get big. Going in. I have big strength gains right now. Did I knock that person up or something? What the hell? Let's go on this person. Little side attack. Little backwards attack. Nice. What the hell is that big guy? Alright, he's gonna die too, though. Stay sharp. Nice, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Oh god, I'm freaking paralyzed or something. How did that even happen? All these guys have crazy abilities now. Let's go ahead and resummon the Frost Atronach. We need as much help as we can get. Blah! Okay, get this guy. The Storm Atronach is actually a pumper, dude. I do not like fighting him. Let's get big again. It's big strength. I'm definitely gonna have to drink a potion right here. Definitely gonna have I'm gonna drink some skooma as well. Let's drink some crack, boys. Crackhead energy. All right, we're in. We're in. We got big and we have crack cat energy. Blah! All right, I think we're going to do this, guys. Oh, God. I don't want to hit my own guys. I, I feel like I could genuinely one-tap them. Uh-oh. Like right there. On this guy. Take the damage. Oh, God. I got knocked down. It's okay. We're drinking pots. We came prepared, guys. We came prepared. I'm still on the ground, dude. I'm still on the ground. Oh, God. Summon another frost at your neck. Get this guy. Dead. Can we paralyze this guy? Oh god, I got hit by something and I missed. Oh god, I got a lot of guys on me. Clan fears, casters. Okay, drink a pot. Paralysis on that guy. Nice. Oh god. 
Oh god, I wish I had more people on my team. I wish I had recruited more people. I just drank a reflect potion as well. The spells. All these dudes are on me right now. Summon a frost at your neck. We need all the help we can get. Oh my goodness, dude. The great gate has opened. I must enter it at once and get the great sigil stone before the Bruma defenders are overwhelmed. Where is it? Oh my god. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I think they're going to be overwhelmed by the time I come out, dude. There's just no way they survived that. All right, we're inside. I cannot wait in this location. That's not good. Okay, I guess we kind of have to naturally let our HP go up. Uh, oh my god. I have entered the great gate. The Daedric siege engine is crawling towards the portal. If it exits the gate before I reach the sigil stone, all is lost. Well, I think we know what we have to do. First step, become invisible. Go back to old ancient things, right? We might be way stronger now, but we're not stupid. Okay, um, well, let's see. Once upon a time, I clicked one of these levers and jumped right on, so we're gonna do it again. Go invisible as well. Oh god, I, I freaking hurt myself. I have no idea where to go, guys. We're figuring it out from scratch right now. Uh, I do feel like everybody outside that gate died, and I feel horrible right now. I wish I had recruited more people. 13 minutes to close the great gate. Yo, I never remember there being a timer. Wait, this guy can see invisible people, or am I not invisible? Oh god, I almost died. I could see I almost died. I'm invisible now. Can you see me? No. Full Daedric on these guys, dude. So I have a plane of oblivion right there and right here. Let's go, 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 go. I'm invisible once again. Could I beat this guy in a fight? Probably. Maybe I should try to. Yeah, fall off the cliff, donkey boy. Okay, well, that works for me. I can't do much about that. Dude, this is actually way too hard. It's, it's unbelievably too hard. Okay, back to invisible. And we'll see what's up here. 12 minutes, by the way. I did need this. A mana font. We'll take that. I am going to save right here just in case. All right, let's just keep going. We don't have enough time. Okay, we dropped him. Jesus. Oh, God. It's going, dude. It's trying to kill Bruma. It's trying to kill me, too. Okay, we have an HP font now. That's a really big deal. Now we go through here, I guess. I hope it's not just me going in circles right now. All right, here's somebody. I guess we're fighting today. Oh, my God. How did I miss that? Dude, he is shitting on me. Oh, God. He's fast. Dude, I am missing all of my spells, like, right in front of me. It's actually cringe. Alright, I got him with that one. Illusion went up, but I could gain a level law. Oh, God, they hit way too hard for their own good. And they dodge way too good. This game is insane. These people are insane. Got him. Oh, my God, but I shouldn't have got him, to be honest with you. He doesn't even have the dangerous stuff on him. Potion of Invisibility might come in handy, though. Do I have to go down here? Or is this just incorrect? There's a Dramora Claymore. Complete garbage. Maybe we have to go right here. All right, another plane of oblivion. I could always just resto heal myself, I guess. I just realized, like, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going in circles right now. 100% going in circles right now. Okay, in all honesty, I have no idea where I'm going, but maybe one of those bridges is where I have to be right now. Well, I guess we go downstairs. What the hell were the point of these towers? I don't get it. We can't brood on it long, though. I just have to go down. Could I potentially jump? Like, what if I went right here? Okay. And I healed up a bit. Look at this, guys. What the hell is what I just did? All right, I am invisible right now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So is this where I'm... Oh, wow. That actually just hit me. Okay. Where am I supposed to be? It's actually so confusing. Wait, there's a cave over there. Am I supposed to go in that cave? Let's just go for this cave. All right, here we are. Invisible, of course. Wait, does this have nothing in it? Why would there be a random cave with literally nothing in it? Oh, I can go down. Seven minutes to close the gate. That's not good, dude. I don't know if we're even going to do this our first try. Spider Daedra, no biggie. Invisibility is awesome. Nice. Well, I could get out right here. So there's a Daedroth. I want to leave him behind. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good life, brother. Have a good life. Idiots. All right, now we're up and we're invisible again. Let's just go to the very top of this tower. I have to assume I haven't been in this tower before. It's all I really can do. Six minutes left to close the great gate. It's a really high tower. So we have a Dramora guy in here and a bunch of ways to heal myself. We have loot. And then we have this gate control. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, God. He summoned a Storm Atronach. He's like, yup, nope, you're not getting away. All right, Grand Soul Gem. I will take that. But I'm going to skip these guys entirely because I don't have time for that crap. Let's see if we can go in that other door, the mid-sized door here, the middle door. Right here. Okay, going in. Invisible. This is the gate I think I just opened. This is exactly where I feel like I have to be. Just keep on going. I could go in there. I wonder if that's it. World Breaker. We could try that. 
This actually looks a lot more familiar to what I'm used to from like the few Oblivion Gates we have done. So let's try doing this. The Valley of End Times, they said. Yep, this is a lot more familiar. Just keep on running, guys. All I have to do is click the Sigil Stone. I have five minutes. If I actually were to die to a trap, holy crap. The depression would be palpable. Said a little hall door, okay. Potion of invisibility will do that because they broke me out of it. So there's a Daedroth just sitting there. That's not good. Okay, that was just loot. They actually drained my uh, intelligence or something and I can't immediately go invisible again right now. I'm currently silenced. Wow. Four minutes to close the gate. Why is there a baby th looking thing? What the hell is this little tiny one? Invisibility. Open invisibility again. What's in here? This might actually be the right way to go. It looks like it's going down though. It's a little hall door. Okay. Invisible again. What's this way? Probably the same concept. Invisible again. <gasps> oh God, I just barely dodged that. Okay, so this is just HP. I'll take that actually. Going past all these people. No, can I not get through her? Bro, you're blocking me. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh my. Die, 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 die. Dude, this is unbelievable to me right now, to be real with you. This is horrible. This is ridiculous. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here so I can go invisible and run away. Nice. Nice. Go, 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 go. This is all I've got, guys. It's literally all I've got. A mana font over here. I do guess I want that, although it's not that relevant. Click an invisibility. Did she freaking block me again? Oh my goodness, dudes. Unfreaking believable that that keeps happening. Okay, so I did kill her, but now I'm being double blocked by these guys, but at least they're moving. Two minutes to close the gate. Unbelievable. There's only one other way to go, and it's right there. I'm also taking so much damage right now. Oh my god, I literally don't have any time. World breaker? Okay. Oh no, go, 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 go. I put my um, weapon away and everything, guys. I'm seriously sprinting. I have a uh, high freaking athletic skill. At least I feel like it's pretty high for me right now. Oh no, a lock. Okay, luckily we are a mage. Open uh, average lock. Invisibility. Invisibility again. This is the last room. This is the last room. I recognize it. Go, go, go. 115 seconds to close the great gate. 110 seconds to close the great gate. Go, 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 go. I can open the loot things. I, th I think I have enough time. What's in here? Axe of weakness, shock potion, 500 gold. 100 seconds. I think I can open the other one too. I think I can open the other one too, guys. 95 seconds. Nice. Lots of gold. Always worth it. Go, 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 go. Dude, I cannot believe we barely made it. 85 seconds. Click. I clicked it and I'm invisible. Dude, we freaking did it. Oh, I hope not everybody died. Please tell me some people lived, dude. I should have recruited more. Okay, we're, we've done it. We freaking done it. We freaking did it. Oh my god, it was like almost out of the gate and everything. I have reached the Great Sigil Stone and closed the gate. The Battle of Bruma is won. Now to give the Sigil Stone to Martin. Who lived? Who lived? Storm Atronach I can loot, okay. Dude, look at the carnage. Look at the freaking carnage, dude. Sigil Stone right there, just on the floor, by the way. Did not know that was gonna end up happening. Wow, they're all clapping at me and shit. All these people are dead, though. It doesn't seem like something to clap about. Like, lots of dudes are dead. They died horrible deaths. Joffrey actually lived. I did have a playthrough when I was a kid where Joffrey died, and I was extremely sad, so I am glad that he lived. They fought well, my friends. They fought well. The Coral Guards, I appreciate them coming, but they did all die. Potions of Healing. I get a key to Bruma now. I'll take that. All these militia that died we for their won people. A oh, great victory here today. We did. We now have the means to recover the amulet of kings from Manka Cameron. It was close, dude. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. I agree. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. Okay, I can do that. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. Well, I guess that's the next big thing, right? Farewell, my friend. Oh my goodness, who else lived? This random Bruma militia lived, good for you, and Boris actually I lived. I was honored to fight by your side again. Wow, dude. May wow. What does Joffrey say if we talk to him? Once you're rested and equipped, oh, he's, he's, don't give the enemy a chance to recover from their defeat. He literally doesn't care at all. He's just like, this is normal. This is business for me. Wow, guys, I cannot believe it. We did it. There's only so much more left to do, guys. But I think we actually were able to do enough work before this battle to where even though we didn't recruit enough people, we were powerful enough to steamroll our way through. The invisibility was really a big thing for me, but my stats are pretty damn good for me right now. I'm very, very proud of where we've gotten so far, and we can actually sleep to gain one more level, so we might as well do that. So let's just go to an innkeeper and then we'll talk to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. All right, 13 hours, guys. Make it nice and uh, bright in the daytime the next day. Evening star 28. Nice, okay, so we can get some strength levels. I'm fine with that again. Go for the willpower as well. 
And you know what? Let's get our HP up. Let's just do that. Let's bring it up to 60. I love these kinds of old school attributes, man. It's just fun messing around with it. Okay, we are currently level 24 right now, guys. And uh, we're actually utilizing our warrior birth sign as well this time. Feels good. Let's go talk to Martin. Also, we did just get that one sigil stone. Is it any good? Demoralize an enemy or fortify willpower? Actually, fortifying willpower would be really, really nice. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Let's go talk to Martin, like I said. All right, here we are. Cloud Ruler Temple, potentially for the last time. And let's go make this happen. I've got to kill Mankar Cameron himself. I hope it's not a hard fight. I don't know if I have it in me, guys. Am I fully charged, by the way? No, Gold Brand's completely not charged. I do think I have stuff for that. I have a Black Soul Gem Grand and a Grand Soul Gem. All right, that should be fully charged now. The 22 fire damage is definitely worth it, guys. All right, here it is. Oh my God, this is so cool. Martin? I have everything in place for the ritual. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. I am ready. I'm braced. Let's do it. I am braced and ready to go. I really do think I'm, I'm probably okay, right? Like I'm probably fine. Yeah, we gotta be fine. I don't see how you could not be fine. I'm in full Daedric right now, fully enchanted with intelligence to go hard on the Magicka. Level 24, gold brand acquired. This is it, right? Here it is. It's like a baby Oblivion Gate, but it's actually different. Okay, I don't remember the graphics being this good, to be real with you. Okay, here we are. Main card, Cameron's Paradise. And I'm going to do my normal strategy, which is to be invisible. I have arrived in Cameron's Paradise. The portal closed behind me. I must find Main card, Cameron, kill him, and recover the Amulet of Kings. So I do think I can do that, but I don't see a point in uh, randomly having to fight random guys. So let's just stay invisible and look for Main card. So, oh, the God. cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. Yes. You didn't think you could take me unaware where's here of all places in the paradise that i created no i didn't think you'd be unaware my paradise gaia alata in the old tongue a vision of the past and the future with broken Behold down alien the ruins god where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny to rule over tamriel reborn if you are truly the hero of destiny as i hope the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Karek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. All right, we got to find the pinnacle of paradise, apparently. So I'm just going to keep following roads until I get wherever I need to be. Obviously, up here was pretty much useless. So we'll go down here. We have a dead deer in the middle of the road. This is so interesting. Like, it is a bit of a paradise, but I find it weird that he decided to build his paradise using alien ruins. That of which he probably knows nothing about from their heyday, of course, because I think Mankar is an elf, but he's certainly not a wild elf. I think he's a high elf. We could go left or right. Whoa. You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona, my kin. Say you fought well. It's true, I did. I seek Mankar Cameron. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. You couldn't have, bro. You really couldn't have. But what do you want, dude? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. You- no, it's not happening. But you shamed my kin at Ganona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle or offer me service? I choose battle. Your mind follows the simple path. No, my it does not. My mind follows the path of not being a bitch. Die. Get paralyzed and die. That's right, sit down. Sit down. Bands of the Chosen? Weakness to fire on self? Oh my god! He screwed himself against me, dude. He completely screwed himself. I feel like I have to show this consistently in the parts that matter, so we're still on the difficulty that we're supposed to be on. Wow, what a donkey, dude. And he had purging flame. It looks like garbage, too. That Dramora stuff is not doing you guys any favors. All right, let's go this way. This is it, boys. This is it. Let's go inside the flooded grotto. That guy was so easy. All right, invisibility. Random mortals in here that look like shit. It's fine. We just passed them. I love invisibility so much, and I actually can't imagine playing Oblivion without it. Because there are, so, it's kind of like World of Warcraft, to be real with you. In World of Warcraft, there's a lot of trash fights, right? If you don't know WoW, you probably do if you're watching my channel. But if you don't know, trash is just random garbage, right? It's literally irrelevant. Maybe it actually serves a story purpose for them to be there, but rarely, right? The door is smooth and featureless without any apparent means of opening it. That's not good. But my point is, there's a lot of trash in all games. And when you have invisibility and you can just pass it, it's just so much better. The only thing I can think of is if I can't see anything in this cave specifically to open that door, that I had to go the other way that I didn't end up going. So instead of going in this door, there was another way I could have gone. So I guess we just backtrack and see if there's a button or something like that. 
I did just realize there's a bunch of alchemy ingredients here too, like completely free. Okay, here it is. Bands of the Chosen. Okay, there you go. I have the Bands of the Chosen. I should find the door to the Forbidden Grotto and see if he was telling the truth. Let's go ahead and go inside. How Invisibility. You understand. Oh my god. You cannot stop, Lord Dagon. I can't. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia. Periites Quagmire. The Ten Moon Shadows of Mythala and, and Dawn's Beauty. The Princedom of Lorcon. Misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. I do find yes, that weird. You understand now. Yeah, Tamriel I do a little bit. Is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed. Your Dagon by cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself. How is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand in corruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words simple. of traitor They princes? are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of the universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost what its scholarship, light? love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction. The gods you worship are trifling the shadows of first cause. You know what? Everything he's saying makes some sense. Okay, I have to put these on and now I can't take them off. Crap, let's go inside. Nice, it worked. Everything he's saying makes sense, right? I've entered the Forbidden Grotto. Now to find my way through to the Terrace of Dawn where I hope to find Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. It all makes sense, but it's also so Why crazy, isn't it? Why your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortal? It is Tamriel. The realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth, Tamriel I Daedroth. This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your mind. So, okay, what I basically figured out is this so far, guys. Tamriel in and of itself is kind of like a group of Daedra who realized that the Daedra were evil and shitty, and so they broke away from it, and they said, listen, we're gonna do things completely different and let these people live unmolested, untortured, and by their own uh, merit, by their own wants, right? I'm looking for the word. It's called free will. That's what it is. And that's what main card doesn't get. That's why he's small-brained. He's not big-brained. He thinks he's big-brained because he figured out the beginnings of it. But actually, this makes perfect sense. The areas where the Daedra are are all freaking degenerate. It's all degenerate and cringe. So I think the gods of this area did a good job. And I think it's kind of irrelevant to me whether or not they're true gods or not, or they're just like, you know, Daedra that kind of became good. We're still running through, by the way, with nothing but invisibility on right now. Completely gimping everything. It's actually amazing. I'll never get over this, and I don't think I'll ever be able to play Oblivion again without invisibility. I'd have to be so strong to get over it, you know what I mean? Like, you'd have to be broken. And I feel like I'm pretty strong, so I really find it very hard to imagine how tough you'd have to be in this game to not need invisibility and just mow through everything, you know? It feels like it'd be damn near impossible. I guess one way you could do it though, and I know I did it when I was a kid, is I could just not get to a high level. Because you could beat the game, I think, theoretically, at like level 5 or something, right? And then everything just naturally dies fast. But that's about it. If you want to progress like normal, I wonder how strong you have to be to not use invisibility. Okay, we're going to skip this big boy too. But first, we're going to loot this free stuff. Loot that as well. Invisible. Still running super fast. All right, another door. Nice, let's go inside. I got paralyzed? It's a joke, right? Stop paralyzing me! Dude, did you see that? He did it again. Oh. All right, fine. Get paralyzed yourself, idiot. Get paralyzed yourself, idiot. Ah! That's right. Sit down, dude. Sit down. Is that a Daedric thing? Oh, God. Can I go inside, please? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I am actually going to get slaughtered here, aren't I? See if we can... Oh, wait, no. Can we kill the little one? Let me in. It keeps paralyzing me. Ah. Okay, I am currently invisible. I'm actually very curious why I'm getting paralyzed. I am going to save right here. Okay, I did just look it up. Apparently, because I'm invisible, I missed somebody I was supposed to talk to entirely. Dude, I did not do this the way it's supposed to be done. I'm ready to oh, help Oh, yeah, I'm willing to accept your help. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. Here, let me remove them for you. You are no longer a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. Okay, well, sure, come. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. 
Lead on. All right, let's go. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. Do you think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. Let's get this over. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. I'm not going to be unworthy. Don't worry, bro. I am actually going to kill your ass. It's going to be easy too. Swift and done with skill. My bands are off. I'm just hoping that I can run past everything and actually open the doors now. Okay, here we are exactly where we were before. Can I open it? I can. All right, healing up a little bit. Go for that invisibility. Illusion skill went up as it should. Let's keep going. Hopefully that Eldermill guy catches up to me. I have no idea what just happened. I saw him die and then he was immediately back. So I could go right or I could go left. A big old statue of, uh, I think that's Dagoth himself. Merun's Dagon, actually. Yeah, okay. That might actually be main car Cameron. Do I have charges, by the way? It's a big deal. 44, yeah. This is it. Like, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen right now. Let's go ahead and save. Because this might actually be it. Yeah, they even see me while invisible. You did not expect to see me again, did you? No, I did not. You I killed no you. You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. I thought I killed you, for real. You think you can stop us? Soon, Mayrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come, my father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. Okay, I guess we go inside. Wow, beautiful, dude. Using Welkin stones. So what's cool about this, though, to be real with you, is that this, in my opinion, kind of shows what an alien ruin would have looked like when it wasn't a ruin. And I think that's badass. I have waited a long time. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathe the stale air. How little you understand. You cannot stop, Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the... Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined. The mythic age re... Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from... I don't think I give a shit about what this guy has to say. What about you guys? Oh, I have no uh, mana pots. That's not good. I found Makar Cameron in his palace of Karak Agayalor. Now I must kill him and take back the Emblem of Kings. All right, let's go. Go. Go, 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 Paralyzed, right? Is he immune? Oh, I killed that person. Can I heal myself? Die, die, die. Lord, my vision. I am actually taking big damage right now. Oh, I died. Holy shit, no, that's not good. Yes, I'll, I'll load this, I guess. Oh no, that's not good, guys. Am I even capable of doing this? Yeah, I know everything you have to say. This time I'm gonna save actually right here so I don't have to listen to you again. I feel like he stole my Atronach. You think that might be true? Because based on the way that went, it felt like he stole my Atronach. So I say we go in right here. Paralyzed, but it doesn't work, of course. Big old fireball. Jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. Oh. Oh my god, is this not possible? Of course it is. We're not lowering the difficulty. Oh, I can kill these guys outside. That might be worth it. That might be worth it, actually. Oh god. Okay, nice. Good, good kill. Good kill. Mundane ring. Oh, I heard about this ring. Apparently, it's one of the best ones you can get. I definitely could use magic resistance and reflecting spells. 21,000 ring, by the way. Why are my gauntlets not on? Oh, I didn't put them back on. Okay. So we could take off one of my doobie rings, put on the mundane ring instead, and then heal real quick so we don't die to the next spell that comes on us. I do not die! Paralyze her. She's dead as well. Greater Staff of Storms. Looks like garbage. Okay, so I do think that was smart because now I don't have to fight them all at the same time. Definitely very smart. I did not know I could do that. Let's put an end to Mancar Cameron and his evil paradise. I agree, guys. I agree. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to save right here, though. So do I have a lot of charges? I've got 37. This is it. Um, This is basically it. I know the paralysis won't work, so... I have waited a Let's do it like this. Champion of old I'm just Tamriel. warming up, you pathetic worm. Remember, I have that super good ring now. I'm going to let Eldamil kind of do his thing as well. Potion of speed, strength, absorption, shock resistance, and shield. Anything I can. 
Strength against strength. Yeah! Oh god. He's summoning help. God, he's so fast. Lord Dagon will welcome your soul in Oh god, gold brand, go, gold brand, go. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Let's heal. I am healing just a little bit. I am Oh god, they knocked me down. No! Oh Jesus, strong healing pots. You know better than the others. Ah! Oh! You are too late! I'm healing myself and running in circles. Is this guy attacking me? She's back! They respawned! The door was sealed. Door was sealed. Oh god, dude. I died again. Somehow he immediately resummons the girls I killed outside, the guy and the girl, maybe. Wow, he's really hard, dude. I have waited okay, first things time. first. Try Let him talk, up. regen our mana. You immediately try to paralyze. Of course, it's just big damage with that spell as well. Look, he took big damage, guys. He took big damage. I think I might kill him. I think I might kill him. I think I might kill him. Yes! Come on! Oh, yes! Amulet of Kings! Main car's robe. I'll take that and I'll take your staff just for keeping it, dude. Oh, yes! Yes! We just freaking bursted him down, dude! We bursted him down! It's all falling apart around us. I killed main car camera and upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me and I found myself back in the Cloud Ruler Temple with the Amulet of Kings in my hand. I must give the amulet to Martin. By the way, just so we all know, let's go ahead and return. I'm still talking in the same breath. Did not reduce the difficulty. Bursted his ass down. Please. Everybody's like, wow. Do homage to Martin's champion. Oh, we did it. You found a way back. Does this mean... It does mean, dude. You did it. Yes. You defeated him. You have the Amulet of Kings. I do. Here it is. Belongs to me, the Amulet of Kings. It does. So you and Joffrey have said, only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Put it on, my friend. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? You look just like After your father. All, this is my destiny, and no man can deny his destiny. Agreed. You are the Emperor, my friend. Not yet, until we light the dragon fires. The gates are open, and Mayroon's Dagon's invasion continues. Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go to the Imperial City at once. To the Imperial City! Sail. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot believe it. The playthrough is about to come to an end in the traditional sense. Oh wow, this is badass, dude. I don't remember coming in here at all. Very nice. Where is Martin? He's coming. Wait, is he not here yet? Okay, let's just wait. We have arrived in the Elder Council Chamber. I must formally present Martin's claim to Chancellor Okado. I've been expecting you. Nice. Oh my god, dude. The final battle. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. Oh, Daedra just came in here. The Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city and Daedra are pouring out. I must escort Martin safely to the Temple of the One where he can light the dragon fires. Let's do it. I've got plenty of dudes on my side. Paralyze that guy? Oh god, I paralyzed my own friend. Not good, dude, not good. It's an AoE paralysis spell. It's supposed to be. Small AoE. Dead. Nice. Dramora garbage. More Dramora garbage. Wow, these guys have crazy looking armor. All right, let's go, guys. Let's see. What, well, how big is the attack, really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. These are some big boys, too. Para I just paralyzed everybody. That's not even how you say that word, but it's fine. Oh, God. These guys have big old funky hairdos, too, dude. Dude, they're coming out of nowhere. Oh my god. Dude, they're actually killing the guards. I don't know if I can win. I'm running away really fast and healing myself. This is actually working really well because if I just keep running in circles, my allies will kill all the NPCs that are focused on me. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, it's actually working. Daedric stuff on this guy. Potion of Chameleon, okay. So some of these guys might actually have good stuff. We can loot it. 
fatigue. Nothing that good, unfortunately. Man, all these guys dead. It's actually so freaking crazy. All right, I have to heal up as well. I have a decent heal, but it's not obviously good enough overall. Hopefully, it's going to be enough for this next room. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, I think this is the Temple of the One, though. So let's just keep on fighting. Wait, is my gold brand charged? I bet you it's not. It's not. We can definitely recharge it, though. Black soul gem? Nope, I don't have anything in there. Oh, no, that's not good. I think I'm gonna actually have to trap somebody's soul real quick just to make this happen. I'm just jumping all over the place and hoping they kill everybody. I'm not gonna lie. Martin's over there trying to 1v1 one of those giant guys. They just won't stop coming. They literally just won't stop coming, dudes. Everybody is dead. Merun's Dagon is here. The barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed. Our only hope now is to somehow defeat Merun's Dagon and cast him back into Oblivion. Perhaps Martin will know what to do. We're too late. Merun's Dagon is here. All right, man. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. Dude, I am barely freaking surviving right now. Martin and I are inside the Temple of the One. I must get Martin to the dragon fires or all hope is lost. All right, you're here, right? I don't think they're going to follow me in, I guess. There's so many people behind me. Come on, Martin, do you? I do what I must do. Yes, you do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. What? I can't move. Holy crap. Holy crap. Here comes Merun's Dagon himself. Holy crap, it's Akatosh! Dude, it's been like 15 years since I've seen this. Yeah, that's right. Kick Merun's Dagon's ass, bro. Bite his neck. Oh, you stab him? Smack him with your axe? Are you gonna fight back, brother? Yeah, blow him with fire. Nice, there we go. I did remember that, apparently. Nice, dude. That's Martin sacrificing himself. Oh, and it becomes a statue! The amulet is shattered. Was that in ESO? Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's for real, blood, like is that statue in ESO? I need to go look for it. We have sealed the gates of oblivion. Or does ESO happen before it all? I don't remember. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future. The fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. Wow, dude. And then we know Skyrim comes out and that gives me chills. Because you didn't know back what then. What happened? Where's Martin? Yeah. I must congratulate him. Mayrune's Dagon is defeated. Martin's gone, bro. What do you mean? Gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? That was Martin, man. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. And Martin's blood, too. Then Martin is gone. And the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. What about the Empire, though? We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. Yeah, Skyrim proves it. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive. Well, okay. Champion of Cyrodiil, that's me. In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil. Yay, we did it! As a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, oh, shit. I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon Armor. Oh man, armor I hope this is from. good. I do hope this is really good. Imperial Dragon Armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. You have earned the highest rank possible in the 
the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights, founded by Tiber Septim himself. Sick. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. I wonder who the other six are. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Look at all this stuff completely destroyed. I wonder if it's actually going to end up getting uh, healed up again. So they say in two weeks, I can go to the armory to get my armor. Let's just wait two weeks, dude. Random zombies, by the way? How's that even possible? <laughs> yo, yo, how's that even possible? Why am I legit about to die to random zombies right now? Big old fireball. I literally just went to the prison district real quick because I read up on Google real quick that this is where the armory is and I got attacked by zombies immediately. Literally, where could that have come from? Okay, that was really random and weird. Okay, this is the uh, armory right here. Okay, let's just go ahead and wait two weeks. Okay, here we are, guys. The Imperial Dragon armor ordered for me can now be picked up, and we are here. Is this it? Oh, I don't even know if we can actually carry it, but uh, I've received it. Let's go ahead and put it on. Is it actually any good? So I have seven armor with my Curus, but it's not fully uh, repaired. This has eight armor, and it resists a bunch of random stuff. Fire, a bunch of magic damage. Wow, it's kind of garbage, isn't it? This is what it looks like, though. You know what? Honestly, man, I'll take it. Like, it, it looks so damn cool. I do wish I could re-enchant it, so to speak, with better stuff because it looks so insanely good. But you know what? I'll take what I can get. We're gonna have to put that in our house for sure. Well, guys, um... Oh, shit, I just knocked that helmet straight off, didn't I? Well, you know what? Let me be real. Um, we beat the game, and it feels pretty insane to finally be here. I'm gonna go all the way back to my house, actually. I think that's a good place to end this. You know, one thing I was actually wondering, guys, that we're back at our house now, right? I was wondering if I finished this game in 2023, if it would actually give me any feelings like I know I had when I was young. And if I'm honest with you guys, I'm an adult now and better able to handle my emotions, but I feel them and I'm trying to push them back right now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to push them back because I feel like, oh, it's unreasonable. You're not supposed to have feelings after a video game, but I do. It feels sad. Now, I didn't say this to you guys because I don't want to make you sad, but during the battle, Joffrey did die and I'm pretty sure Boris did too. Everybody died. I wasn't strong enough to keep literally anybody alive. By the time I ran into the temple, only Martin was there. And it didn't go that well originally. But we actually did make it. And now I'm in the world of Oblivion, with all the Oblivion gates dead. The whole world is still there for me. So much has not been done. But now that I've beat the game, I could do anything I want on this and feel like, hey, I already beat the game. Now if you want to mess around, do dumb stuff, make new characters, you can. It doesn't matter if you do the storyline anymore. You know what it's all about. And I gotta say, I feel great about it. Let's go ahead and hang up our armor. I don't know if hang up is actually possible. Sadly, it's not Skyrim, but we can at least put it in the chest right here. So we have Imperial armor. Let's put all of that in here. We have Mankar Cameron's robe and his staff. I'll keep that in there as well. I did really end up getting rid of a lot of stuff from the old days to make some money during this playthrough. My um, arena champion raiment is gone. My chill rend is gone and stuff like that. Still have the staff of worms though, but hey, we beat it guys. Now, before we do anything, let me just say this. As of the recording of this video, I've actually already released episode one. And I already know this series did not do as well as my regular World of Warcraft series. And I'm not going to pretend like that's a good feeling. But ultimately, I don't care. Hopefully, I'm hoping that maybe after a series like this, maybe once in a blue moon, every couple months, maybe someday if we're good enough, every month, I'll be able to release more games on the channel that are already pre-done, that never take away from the WoW content so that I can just branch out and do more stuff. But also, it makes me happier, right? It really does make me feel fresh, to be real with you, too. When I went back to World of Warcraft after this playthrough, just in the middle of it and stuff, I felt like I had more fun on World of Warcraft. I felt like I had more stuff to reference as well. I felt like I even was smarter because I had experienced another game's difficulty and then went back to a game I'm really good at. It's just a good feeling. And I'm hoping I'll be able to play all sorts of classics. If we don't do more Oblivion videos someday, and we might, we might certainly do other things. Other games, other classics, other incredibly good games that remind me of my childhood. Just once in a blue moon, it'll never take away from the regular content. So once again, obviously if you're watching this, you're not one of those people. But if people don't want to watch it, they don't have to. And they don't also feel like, oh, McDoubles is not a WoW YouTuber anymore. I'm going to unsubscribe. Don't worry. I've always got you. But listen, for me, even though this might have not got the most views, it was definitely worth it. And I had so much fun. And when I've rewatched the series, and I have at least twice now, uh, which is a lot of time spent rewatching this, right? Editing and all that jazz. 
I think it was really good. I think it was a great journey. There are some things I regret. Turning it on easy mode a few times to make it through really difficult things, like getting the key, killing the guy for this house, and there was one other time as well. Although admittedly, at this point, I can't even remember. Those times didn't make me feel good. But we were able to beat main card Cameron on regular difficulty. We were able to beat the Necromancer guy, Mana Marco, on regular difficulty, although he was a cakewalk. We were able to beat so much. And uh, we gimmicked it a lot with invisibility. But overall, guys, I had so much fun. I hope you guys had fun too watching it. Let me give you guys my stats before we end anything. So, level 24 on the warrior birth sign. High elf. Pretty good magicka. We go over here. I have 139 intellect. My luck is negative, and I don't get why, but it is. It's been negative for a bit, actually. 94 willpower, and that's just baseline, by the way. No armor buffs or anything with that. We capped out at 50 speed at one point. We didn't even know if we were going to go past uh, 50 personality, but we did. Uh, these are my main skills. 80 illusion by the end of this, right? That's crazy. That's my highest one. That's how much invisibility I used, basically. 77 destruction, 76 conjuration, 64 heavy armor. I took big damage all along the way. We were able to get journeyman acrobatics and athletics, 50 restoration. This one was so damn hard to level, and I think it's too easy to gimmick the restoration by waiting, so that's probably one of the big problems with Oblivion, right? Because I certainly tried to use restoration, but even when I was using it, it didn't give enough XP to make a difference. In fact, the only reason I got it to Journeyman is because during my power session before the final Bruma boss, I leveled it up there by spamming. Now, I am a Order of the Dragon Champion of Cyrodiil Guy. I'm a Mage Guild, Arc Mage. I'm a Blade Knight Brother, and I'm an Arena Grand Champion. 141 days passed. Only 45 quests completed. 488 skill increases. 5 expert skills now, guys. 78 fame and 1 infamy. I don't know what the infamy is, but I'll take it. 2 days jailed. 69 <laughs> items stolen. A bunch of assaults. My largest bounty was 1,000. You guys didn't really get to see this because I paid it off and moved on, but I think I attacked somebody during the Bruma Gate on accident, and then when I got back to Bruma after the fight, the guard got on to me. Small thing. You know, it's a flesh wound. It's whatever. 100 exact lockpicks broken. Wow. 5 souls trapped, which is pretty low, to be honest. Only four Oblivion Gate shut. A lot of people go way harder on that, but I had to complete the playthrough, right? One horse owned, one house owned. We did it all. We didn't invest in the store yet. Never been a vampire. Five Nurn Roots found and one disease contracted. Plus, I fought more vampires while farming for gold on the in-between. And yeah, I just never got the disease. Not only that, but I'm going to put up on the screen right now the day that we started everything on. And the day that we're on right now, which is Morningstar 14. Third age, 434. Theoretically, we're going to be in the fourth age at the end of this game, though, right? I don't know how many months that is, but I'll put it up on the screen, and that's everything, guys. That's the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I loved it. And if you've never played it before, I hope you liked it, too. If you have played it before, I hope you were able to relive some nostalgia. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give a like and a subscribe. Major thanks to the members on my channel. In many ways, this was for you. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I love you all. See you in the next one. McDoubles out.